I've been basking in it for the last 30 minutes. My God, I feel like a seafront village after the Vikings have left. SJW shill sites like uh, Inside the Magic and things like this from the direct or Screen Rant. And you watch the video from Dodger Blue on Star Wars Day, and the Dark Empress of Bullshit didn't say a word about the Acolyte, which we'll get to, or a Ray movie. I left, I left a lot of it up so you guys could understand the context. You may have to adjust your volume because it's hard to hear the question. The only thing that Kennedy talked about she was looking forward to is Mando and Grogu because that's the only thing that Lucasfilm is concentrating on right now. They have got to get it right. And basically the whole video... Uh, is a retrospective on her career and then that. So she didn't talk about the Acolyte. We've talked about this before, but it pays to kind of go back. Remember how we said the funding was shady? And then you start seeing uh, articles by Caroline Reed about how the budget for Willow was $150 million. The budget for Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny was over a hundred billion dollars or a hundred million dollars more than what was earmarked for it. God knows what, what, what and or budget actually was. Okay. And then of course there's the strange, uh, connection to, uh, agencies and entities of governments that shall not be named. And they're not either the Mossad or, uh, the CIA. So you're going to talk about a Ray movie. But you've got Screen Rant dancing around screaming for a Ray movie. Why? You remember who actually uh, upla updated uh, that reporter for, for Deadline uh, that, that Gina Carano was no longer going to be working for Lucasfilm? It was Pablo Hidalgo. So what it looks like to me is that you see strange things on the internet, uh, on X, like Han Solo trending, it's, it, and it's nothing more than a bunch of blue-haired, ugly land whales and femi-faggy boys uh, 
bashing the character because, you know, he make, Harrison Ford makes these little fuckers feel insecure. Okay, this is, this, this is the same thing. And the only people talking about the Acolyte are, the, are these uh, Pablo Hidalgo-inspired Catholic, and, and it is Hidalgo, at least for the Acolyte, because he, the High Republic is connected to it, and that's his baby. Okay, they need the show to be a success. And when you see the dislikes and the comments on YouTube, it's obvious that it's not going to be a success. Okay, and Kennedy did not mention the Acolyte, and she didn't mention her baby, the Ray movie, and that, you know, she tried to upstage John and Dave with that. And, of course, we find out that Daisy Ridley didn't know there was going to be a movie until about three hours before the walk-on onto the stage. Okay. Kennedy had no intention of taking her uh, Viking funeral and the accolades because it's obvious now she's, it would be obviously then that she was leaving. Okay. She had no intention to do that. And now we've got her minions at Lucasfilm trying to defend her ass and defend their turf, you know, and I find it sad that they're doing this because what bothers me is that there are actually misguided young people out there that for some fucked up reason like this shit, they're being promised by people who are not in charge that these that the Ray movie's happening. And we know goddamn well it's not. Why? Kennedy didn't mention it at all. And supposedly she is president of Lucasfilm. She mentioned Mando and Grogu. And Bob Iger didn't mention it. He didn't mention uh, Star Wars at all, in fact, at the last uh, earnings uh, call. All right? He did mention Mando and Grogu uh, in the first one and the Acolyte. And he's going to let Kennedy go down with that. We'll talk more. In keeping with the trusty adage, starve a cold, disgust a fever. <laughs> Dad, when are you going to stop blighting the environment with this atrocity? <laughs> My God, can't you see that it wants to die? Let it go. <laughs> so, but one more crooked word. Your tongue could open a wine bottle. <laughs> agent. It's not like she worships the devil. Well, she doesn't have to. He worships her. <laughs> that one just drew a pentagram on the floor and chanted, I summon thee three times. Get out. I'll be here all night. Get out. So what we have here and the, the, video from Dodger Blue is obviously a woman on the way out. They haven't said it. Um, and as far as the acolyte is concerned, the back and public back and forth between Carano and Disney lawyers seems to be the public uh, kerfuffle while negotiations go on be behind closed doors. Um, it's kind of like, and the people who poo-poo it, if you remember, uh, ran around screaming that uh, Ron DeSantis would never talk to Disney, blah, blah, blah. Well, he and the Florida state government did talk to Disney, and they came up with a, a resolution. Did they not? So I guess if they, and, it, and Disney's argument was the same, Florida's violating our right of free speech which is like, shut the fuck up, okay? Same thing with Gina. How is she violating your right of free speech when you violated, when you basically canceled her for daring to uh, disagree with, let's say, the lockdowns, the vaccine, um, and why should I have pronouns in my fucking Twitter bio, all right? That's, okay, so... What I think is going to go on 
because th this guy right here is one devious motherfucker. Um, and he's very good at blaming everybody else for the things that he caused. Okay, just trust me on that. What I think is going to happen is this. Um, they're going to announce something big uh, as or right before the Acolyte drops, which will be because uh, Mandalorian Grogu start, starts filming, I believe, on the 17th of June. Okay, so it's this is going to be something that's going to knock everybody over for a feather, and it's going to drown out the Acolyte. All right. They look Disney. The only people that are marketing this thing is Lucasfilm, of course, and um, uh, a little bit on Disney Plus, but not a whole lot. And uh, shill sites like uh, Screen Rant, Inside the Magic, um, The Direct, uh, Star Wars Explained, etc. Okay. It's going to be very interesting watching this uh, this unfold because if you look at Caroline Reed and what she's doing, she's she's basically investigating uh, the the mismanagement of Lucasfilm and Marvel, but the the mind blowing stuff is with Lucasfilm. Okay, the cost over overage uh and the budget blow up of willow is unbelievable the the cost blow up of indiana jones 5 is unbelievable the clause the the fact that the the fi the five star wars movies did not make the money that disney spent on lucasfilm back okay because she did what i i did she looked to see what disney took home okay now, if you look at what Disney spent, all right, Mr. Iger here, $4.3 billion, and then invested billions in the parks. I would say that's between 8 and $10 billion. And they didn't make the money back. They didn't come close, all right? Now, there are people like Pablo who scream, merchandise, blah, blah, blah. No, it's not. Sequel trilogy merchandise Hasbro's not making any. You can bet your sweet bippy uh, acolyte figures will stay on pegs and gather dust at Ollie's within the year, okay? In fact, I would say by Christmas, Ollie's will be inundated with acolyte figures. Of course, Hasbro probably didn't make a whole lot knowing that they weren't going to sell a whole lot, okay? They'll be lucky to break even. I sure as fuck doesn't, don't want that shit in my collection. I don't want anybody who does. But again, if people want to argue that the Ray movie is real, all right, more than the Acolyte even, um, we know something may come out, okay? We know something may happen, all right, on June, on June 4th. All right, pretty sure the show's going to be there. There's going to be another season two. That's not canceling. They're just not making another season, okay? Um, but look at who didn't mention the Ray movie. Kennedy and Iger. And who outweighs Kennedy on that? Iger. Because he has to give it the green light. Him and Alan Bergman and David Walden were like, fuck to the no on that. Okay? And you notice Charmaine Obai-Chinoy has disappeared. Stephen Knight is happily uh, making the Peaky Blinders movie. And Daisy Ridley, I don't give, I don't know what the fuck she's doing. Okay. So when Screen Rant posts stuff like that, ask him. Go on X if the author is on X and say, can you explain why then Kathleen Kennedy in her first public appearance in months did not mention a Ray movie? All right. You don't even have to bring up the Acolyte. All right? Okay, so this is Steph sending out Sarah on the Galaxy.